you're watching a video in a series of tutorials to help you learn how to use Filmora 9, the fun to use, easy to learn video editor for all creators. By watching our tutorials, you can learn everything you need to know to create your own videos in Filmora 9. Hey guys, today we're going to look at effects in Filmora 9, including overlays, elements, and filters. Effects help to bring videos to the next level by surprising your audience with pure movie magic. For many video editors, it takes multiple years to learn how to pull off the effects you see in TV and movies. Luckily, Filmora 9 has plenty of these professional-looking effects that take only a few seconds to use. To start, let's click Effects at the top. On the left, here, you can choose between Filters, Overlays, and Utility Effects. A filter is an effect that will be placed on your entire image. These can be used for many things, from making your footage appear old with a black and white filter, or making your footage look more modern and artsy with colorful filters like Arizona. An overlay is usually used for more specific times in your video than filters. You can use a glitch overlay to make it seem like your footage is glitching out. Or you can use the Cinema 21x9 to add black bars to your video that give it that cinematic widescreen look. Utility effects are even more specific. If you want to crop your video, add a border, or blur out someone's face, you can do all of that and more with utility effects. I'll go over utility effects in more detail in a future tutorial. Now let's try out one of each. Let's click Filters and find the Arizona filter. This can be dragged onto a track above your video. If you want, you can drag the effect onto your video itself. This way, our Arizona filter will be on our entire clip. You can double click your video to see the effects that you have on your clip here. You can turn the effect on and off with this check mark here. With the alpha slider, you can choose the opacity of the effect. Dragging it to the left will make your effect less visible to the audience, if you want it to be more subtle. To get rid of the effect from your video, just click this X here. Now let's try an overlay. I'll drag the Cinema 21x9 above my video here. Then by dragging the side of the effect, we can choose how long it lasts. We want this one to last the whole video. Lastly, let's try Utility. The Auto Enhance will make your image more clear or sharp. I'll drag that over my video now, and drag it to be as long as the clip. By double-clicking this effect, you can edit the amount the effect will change. Double-clicking a normal effect lets you change the opacity with the slider up here. The effect on the highest track will appear above the other. If you drag a clip on top of an effect, you won't see the effect applied to that clip. Let's look at elements now. We can click elements and find something here we want to add to our video. Since this bear seems pretty cool, let's drag this element that says popular into our timeline and grab the side of it to shorten it like this. Now, to put the element where you want it, go to the preview window and click and drag it around. You can also change the size of the element by grabbing the small dot here. By grabbing this circle, sticking up from the element, you can rotate it in any direction. Then when you play it through, you will see a nice animated element. That's one cool bear. Let's say you have a picture in picture, meaning you have one video playing over another. If you want to add an effect to both clips, you should drag it on a track above your clips like this. But if you want to only affect one clip, then drag it directly to the clip just like this. Thanks for watching. Check out our other tutorials to learn how to take your video from start to finish with Filmora 9.